probably can't answer the questions. Let's begin with this one. Okay. Or the robot can answer the question talk. Enter now and have a story printed in teens. Mm -hmm. What is your most unforgettable child childhood experience? Send in your story 120, 180 words for your chance to win a two week all expenses paid trip to Disneyland Paris. 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 Mm -hmm. Runners up will receive a one year subscri subscription to Teens. Mm -hmm. Closing date uh, 10th December. Results announced 7th February. 17th mm -hmm. February. 17th. Yeah, right. Okay, so where would you see this announcement published? Mm. Maybe talk. Um. Так, сайт шрифту не то, газета. Maybe uh, I would see it in newspaper. In a newspaper, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, and uh, what is the announcement about? Uh, about uh, your chance to um, to get a two week all expenses paid trip to Disneyland. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah, and probably it's also a chance to become popular, a little bit popular. A little bit popular, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh, all right. Okay, and who are you going to write about? If, yeah, if, uh, yeah, if, if you, uh, let, let's imagine that uh, it's like a real competition. So, who are you going to write about? Who are you going to write about? No. Maybe a com, a com. A com. About me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to write about yourself, yeah? About yourself. Myself. Yeah. Myself. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, what could you, uh, what could your story be about? Uh, about the um. Uh, 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 about a very interesting story in uh, in camp in the camp. Mm, okay, okay, good, good. So, uh, so now uh, let's do uh, the, the second task, exercise two. Uh, and let's do this one, the best day of my life. Let's read a story and fill in uh, the linkers, like by the time, while, then, but, as soon as, and as. Mm -hmm. By the way, by the way, I, uh, I did, yeah, not I, but, uh, yeah, I needed to help my student with his homework, yeah, and uh, he was given the same thing. Yeah. The same thing. I like um, the the task with the same for where we needed to put these words like while, when, as soon as, during, uh, by, and so on. Uh huh. Okay. 
Még egy. Oké. The best day of my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whenever I look at that bar- uh, photograph, it takes me back to those early years when every new experience was so important that it uh, was almost un- unbe- unbearable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it- unbearable. Unbearable. That's what. Mm-hmm. Uh, unbearable. Можно сказать, а, как не, не, непереносимый. Ага. Uh-huh. Uh, it was towards uh, the end of the school year. Oh, school year. My first year at primary school that it happened. I had been looking forward so that day with such eagerness. Mm-hmm. I can still remember the shouts of the spectators as I went out onto the sports field with my classmates. Earlier that week I had qualified for the finals of the 100 meters. Mm-hmm. Now looking around I was determined to win. Determined. 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 Uh, while I was walking across to the side, I began to feel more and more nervous. I looked no. at the bustling crowd of spectators and I saw my proud parents waving enthusiastically. Yeah, enthusiastically, yeah. Ent- enthusiastically, yeah. Uh, my heart uh, was pounding fast. Uh, mm, uh, as I lined up with the other eager competitors, mm-hmm. I felt so excited that my whole body was shaking. I braced myself, took some deep breaths and uh, waited for the signal. Then... Then the starting pistol sounded and I set off down the track. I could hear the crowd shot, shooting Shouting. Sh- shouting. Ex- accident. Excitedly. Excitedly. Shouting excitedly. Mm-hmm. But the noise seemed very far away. No, только тут же нет. А хотя на... Ну, but, в принципе, победили. Да, да. I sprinted as fast as I could, not looking at anything except the finish line. Mm-hmm. By the time I crossed the line, I was so exhausted, I could hardly breathe. Uh, as soon exhausted. As, exhausted. Mm-hmm. As, uh, as soon as I heard the result announced, I realized I had won. Uh, overjoyed, uh, I collapsed on the soft grass with a broad, bro- broad green on my face. Mm-hmm. Well done, said the headmaster later, as he presented me with the winner's certificate. I had never felt so happy and proud in my life. Yeah, like this. Okay, good, good. Okay, then here's like a sequence of events, but uh, we can skip this task. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah. But we can do task number three. 
uh, we can look for these adjectives from the story and uh, put them here in the gaps. Mm -hmm. uh, in the gaps. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, competitors. Sorry, eager competitors. Wrong. E eager competitors. Yeah, competitors. Compet yeah. Com competitors. Mm -hmm. so, so, proud parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, broad green? Uh, no, uh, broad это здесь мне изменяет память как широкий. No, broad uh, green. No, uh, green это улыбка, улыбка, ухмылка. No. То есть широкой, широкой ухмылкой. Широкой улыбкой. Да, да, да. Так. Crowd. Busting crowd. На no, busting crowd или shouting crowd. Mm -hmm. Так, so soft grass. Ага. Так, deep breath. Ага. Uh, starting pistol is uh, finish line. Finish line. Yeah. Finish line. Yeah. Good. Good. Amazing. Okay. Так. Ну. В общем. Да, ну, в общем. Exercise seven. You have read uh, the rubric in exercise one, and you have decided to enter the competition. Plan your own story by answering the questions below. Like. Paragraph one, where were you, what, when did it happen, what happened, the main body, what exactly happened, list the events in chronological order, and what was the, cli uh, the climax event, yeah, and conclusion, what was the outcome, uh, how did you feel, okay, like this, ну, а теперь тогда давайте вот этот вот self-assessment module. Тут такая вот еще тема. Mm -hmm. Ну, смотри. Тут, ну, self-assessment module, это, так сказать, тема тут, э, как так сказать, этих слов здесь нигде нету, но это вот, если ты их помнишь, то, то мы это сможем их вставить. Ну, проверить. Здесь, наверное, помнишь. Mm -hmm. Ну, давай проверим. Okay. A fire broke out in the school cut cafeteria last night. Uh-huh. Uh, they are tired. They uh, have been painting all morning. Uh-huh. Yeah. Talk, are you having a good time, Jim? Uh-huh. So, Bill is 19, so he's still in his teens. Uh -huh, yeah. When he reached uh, 65, he retired from work. Yeah, because I'm near 65, but 65. Okay, so, oh no, I haven't finished my homework. Yet. Mm -hmm. Yet. Так, he usually moves the loan on Sundays. Yeah, moves the loan on Sundays, yeah. Moves. Mm -hmm. Peter was washing the dishes when the phone rang. Yeah, when the phone rang. Yeah. Rang, yeah. So. Is Janet thinking of moving to Italy? Uh -huh. We... Uh, 
I used to play football every day when I was a teenager. Yeah, all right. Right. Uh, Jason was accused um, of cheating on the test. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, accused. Accused. Uh -huh. yeah. I go to the theater once in a lemon. Я только ты пропустил целых два предложения. Ой. Ну ладно. Did you know that John was dismissed from work? From his job? Я. Uh, I don't know how the copes. How she copes. Uh, how she copes. Um, with a full-time job and the family. Uh -huh, yeah. To... The... I go to the city once in the blue moon. The yeah. Sarah was uh, in the attic when she... when she came... Uh, um, and she came across her grandmother's silver necklace. Necklace, yeah. It took near ethic or ethic. Ethic. Yeah. Uh, because of a childhood illness, she. Uh, she lost her hearing. Yeah. Now she can hear a doll. Yeah, at all. Right. At all. My wallet was disappeared into thin air. Mm -hmm. I read in my old diaries always mm, brings back mm -hmm. memories of my childhood. I'm afraid uh -huh. I just don't approve. Uh, Oh, this line. Approve uh, of. Yeah. Okay, I approve this kind of behaviors. And the last one. And the last one. And then the fans got really cared. the way when mm -hmm. Greg have scored a goal. Yeah, right, right. Okay, now let's uh, let's choose the correct word. Talk circle. Yeah, no, talk we more circle. Just, let's just say which one let's, is correct. What? Uh, they couldn't find what they wanted. So they had to build it from uh, scratch. Yeah, from scratch. Uh, her heart leaped when she heard the news. Uh -huh. She's very pretty with rosy cheeks and big eyes. She yeah, good. My flat has central heating, so it's really warm. Uh -huh, I am. Jane became uh, impatient mm -hmm. as she was waiting for Tom to turn up. Turn up. Mm -hmm, yeah. Listen, a siren is. Uh, a siren. A, a siren is uh, wailing. Mm -hmm, yeah. As the siren is barking. Yeah. <laughs> and has got crazy hair and a. Uh, mm. And a forehead. Oi. Oh, yeah. And a wide chin. Oh, yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. Touch the white. No, it it can be like this: a white chin or also pointed chin. Yeah. Uh, pointed chin, not okay. No, da kako. Ostri podbородок, da takoi može biti. Zastrijeni podbородок. No. Okay. Bill has got a wide uh, forehead and wrinkles. Yeah. Uh, Jim has come uh, come down with the flu, so mm -hmm. he won't be able to come. Mm -hmm. She gives private lessons for a small fee. No, more or less. Okay, good. Now a little bit use of English, a little bit of use of English. Uh, so yeah, here we need to re rephrase the sentences uh, using uh, a few words, including the uh, uh, the one in uh, the bold one. Yeah, uh, so it uh, would have the same meaning. Okay, let's try it. Uh, it's a month since he started working here. Uh, he uh, has been working here for a month. Yeah, you. Uh, how long is it since you went to Russia? Mm -hmm. How, uh, how a long ago mm -hmm. did he go yep that did he go to rush mm -hmm. yeah right uh their new album will be on the market next month mm -hmm. they <laughs> their new album will, will come out next month mm -hmm. yeah uh, she succeeds in passing her exams. 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 She managed to pass her exam. So. Exams, yeah. Uh, they haven't been uh, out for months. Right. It's it's uh, been ages since they went out. No. No. No, only since they last went out. Since they last went out. Okay, now uh, task number four. Here we need to, uh, yeah. To derive or uh, to derive a word from uh, the words uh, we have. It's quite another word slow one is not what they steal it is new. Jim seems to have uh, financial problems. Mm-hmm, right. Jenny is an uh, attractive woman in her early th mm. 30s. Yeah. Uh, they decided to have a system, or they decided to have a security system installed. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, she was unable to find a solution, so he asked for help. Yeah, very good. And after graduation, he started looking for a job. Yeah, good, good. Okay, like this. 
Okay, task number five, I guess it will be not uh, not hard for you to uh, here you just need to uh, to think of something to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Просто в пятом шесть придумать надо, да? Да, да. Окей, hi Ben, it's Janet. How are you? Або what's up? Oh, hi Janet. I'm fine. How are you? How about how it's going? Yeah, how is it going? Yeah. Okay, look, uh, are you busy? Are, are you busy on Saturday night? No, as a matter of fact, I'm not. I'm having a party at my house. Would you able to come? Okay, would you be able to come? Would you be able to come? Yeah. Uh, I'd love... I'd love, I'd love to. What time? No, yeah. What time? What time is the party? What time is the party? Okay. Anytime after eight. Sounds great. Uh, uh, see you on Saturday then. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, number six, the, the same or the same. Yeah. But here it's a little bit more. Here, more than that. Okay, so. Let's go. Short hair, short pair hair, and green eyes. What does she look like? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, it is a pleasure to meet you. Mm. How do you do? No. Uh, uh, the post office. Uh, uh huh. Where is the post office? Well, do you know where is the post office? No. Can you say me when the post office? Look, where is the post office? Where it was post. Yeah. It's on Apple Street, five minutes from the tube station. Ah, hello, Mr. Smith. Hmm. Can I help you? Yeah. I've got a problem with the roof. Так, please. Uh -huh. What's your address, please? Yeah, what's your address, please? Uh -huh. 21 Brewery Street. Так, еще раз, как первый по-английски? 21st. Yeah, 21st. No more of a person, 21. Окей, тут же у нас не не переводится как первое, просто как один, то есть one. Окей, twenty one Blueberry Street. Да. Окей, right. Окей, now let's start listening. Окей, it's page page thirty five. Just one second. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. 7B, yeah, it's 7B. Okay, so let's listen to it. Um, can I demonstrate? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's go, let's start. Self-Assessment Module 1 Exercise 7b 
page 35. Even though our house was small, it was very cosy. Mum was good at sewing, so there were lovely colourful curtains and matching cushions everywhere. She also had a pet dog, Chester, who was always lying about, and that added to the warm, homely feeling of the house that I grew up in. Speaker 2 Our house was big and very neat. There was always a lot of space in the rooms, and the whole place had a light and airy feel. There was little furniture, and what we had was all white. Our house was never cluttered, and there was never any mess. I must admit it did feel a bit bare at times, though. I used to wish my house was a bit more like other people's. You know, more lived in. Speaker 3 Well, we had two houses. In the city, we lived in a flat. Nothing fancy, really. Just a typical two-bedroomed place. But our country house was fantastic. It was a cosy little cottage made of old red bricks and had an enormous garden. There was a fireplace in it and lots of comfortable old furniture. We couldn't wait for the weekend to arrive so that we could head down there to our country retreat. Speaker 4 I can't really say that I remember one particular home as standing out. You see, Dad was in the army, so we travelled quite a bit. We moved every year or so. Oh, there were some interesting houses, like the one with a frog pond in the front yard. There was also a strange three-storey tall narrow house that was painted bright pink. I couldn't wait to get out of there. I was too embarrassed to invite my friends over. Speaker 5 My parents were artists and our house was an old, renovated warehouse. The ceiling was high, and there were wooden beams holding up the roof. There was really only one huge room, with beaded curtains and plants separating the various sections of the house, like the kitchen. It wasn't a traditional house, compared to the ones other children live in, but we had lots of space to run and play in, so we were never bored. Okay, like this. So what do we have about speakers? Yeah. Oh yeah, about speaker one. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, something like B. I remember it had uh, handmade furnished for furnished. Fur furnish. Yeah, furnishings. Uh -huh. About speaker two. Uh, it was large but almost empty. No, large but almost empty, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Speaker 3 at um, F. It uh -huh. provided an escape from city life. Mm -hmm. Speaker 4. Um, I have memories of unusual poems. No, definitely. And, and speaker 5. Uh, it was built for another another purpose. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Okay. It nothing, it nothing about expensive fitting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, good, good. Okay, we can actually skip uh, the task 8 and probably yeah and perhaps uh, uh, go to the uh, task number 9 yeah it will be the biggest but okay. I guess I guess we will We'll have enough time to read it all. Okay. Black Beauty. 
mm-hmm. the life of a horse in 19th century England. Yeah. Oh. Вороний, вороний конь. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Anna Sewell. 100. Oh, 1000. Чи як Просто, 1820. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And use the book to write about the terrible treatment of horses in England at the time. Uh, the book was written from the point of view of the horse, which helps us to understand the, the influence that good and bad treatment had on the horses in the story. Black Beauty had a great effect on the treatment of animals and altered people's uh, attitude towards horses. Attitude. attitude toward horses. Mm-hmm. Uh, Black Beauty spent his early years in a pictures, picturesque, picturesque mm-hmm. greenfield with his mother and some other young cult. When it was time for him to be trained to serve men, he was gently and patiently broken in by his master. He learned to wear a saddle and bridle and carry a human quietly and on his back. Mm-hmm. Black Beauty learned about the way horses can suffer because of men very early in life. Mm-hmm. He witnessed a hunting expedition in which a horse was punished to hard and fast by an inex- inexperienced, inexperienced. Yeah. Uh, and overconfident rider. The consequences were tragic. The consequences. The consequences. The rider took a fall that killed him and the fine horse broke his leg and was then shot. 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 Buff. At his next home, one of the horses with whom he shared the stable, had the reputation of being wild and aggressive. This horse, Ginger, said uh, this was because she had been treated very badly at young age. Ginger was taken away from her mother not long after birth and was trained to work in a very rough manner. 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 Mm-hmm. By men who did not care for horses. Also, the uh, Shining Master and his employees were very kind. She could not, she couldn't help being suspicious of men. Uh, Black Beauty's kind owner was forced to move abroad for the sake of his wife's health. This marked the beginning of a string of owners with different personality. personalities. Some were very intentional but allowed their groom's full control of their animal. But unfortunately, in Black Beauty's case, this often proved to harmful. He was often either 
neglected 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 or missun miss това не понятно для мене слово misused neglected да neglected это как бы так сказать но не не принято как бы как бы сказать так по-моему я как-то да как как бы то есть забытый грубо говоря забытый запущенный то есть да и не использовали или After some time, however, Black Beauty was bought by Robert Barker, uh, a kind cab owner. There he was treated very well, uh, also being uh, a cab horse was very hard work. Black Beauty always did his best because he enjoyed pleasing his master. Uh, Black Beauty was very well cared for. Тавтологии багато шо ужас. He was very good food to uh, eat warm stable to sleep. In sleeping and uh, lots of kind of words. Black Beauty learned many things from his new owner, such as the advantages of not being uh, greedy and of being fair and kind to a creator. Mm-hmm. Black Beauty spent a couple of very happy years then. Mm-hmm. So, this pleasant life came to the sudden end when Jerry was or uh, the forced to sell yeah. his horse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Horses. Forces. Uh, after several other owners, Black Beauty uh, was sold to Nicholas Skinner. She had to walk every day with the rest. Uh, mm. uh, insufficient, insufficient, insufficient food and poor accommodation. Mm-hmm. Also, there uh, was still a cup horse. It was a different world. World. Uh, world. Uh, Black Beauty was drivers was weird at him and whip him. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, Black Beauty became very ill from all this hard work and bad treatment. His owner wanted to have him killed when he could, no, lo- could uh. no longer do the job. Yeah. Uh, uh, luckily, uh, a vet, con- a vet convinced Skinner to allow Black Beauty to rest and recover, and then sell him, so that would make a bigger profit. And so the horse's life was spared. Yeah, like this. Actually, to go out, I mean, was like he had to work every day with rest, and with no rest. With no rest. Uh-huh. Okay, and the last paragraph. After spending years on uh, uh, London Street, Black Beauty's new home was a pleasant farm with a caring master. After uh, nursing him back to good health, Uh, The farmer decided that Black Beauty needed to be in a place more appropriate than a farm. Appropriate. Appropriate. He 
sold the beauty to two kind young sisters who lived on a pleasant country estate with a large green meadow. Mm -hmm. Here's the weary b content. Uh, Boys finally found the rest and peace of mind that so desired and deserved. Yeah, that uh, that was so desired and deserved, yeah. Okay, so. So, uh, which of the following is true of the book Black Beauty? It was the, the only novel to deal with people's treatment of horses. It was written by more than one author. It showed that horses can be good friends of man, or it changed the way people thought about horses. Hmm. Maybe D. Yeah. No. 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 No, okay, I will it. Uh huh. Okay, so number two. As a young horse, Black Beauty lived in pleasant surroundings, didn't see much of other animals, broke his back while being drained, or uh, was forced to carry heavy, heavy loads. Mm. Mm. Broke his back. Yeah, while being trained. Yeah. Okay, what do we learn about the rider in the hunting expedition? Yeah, he was sure his horse was the fastest. His horse knocked the rider to the ground. He lacked the knowledge to handle horses, or he was forced to shoot this to shoot his horse. Oh, he was forced to shoot his horse. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Okay, in the phrase, uh, man who did not care for horses, line 26, uh, the writer suggests that they did not know how to look after horses, they weren't careful how they treated horses, horses were their least favorite animals, or their only interest in horses was as work animals. Hmm. Maybe uh, D. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess even B suits better. Okay, so number five. Uh, after one of his owners moved around, uh, Black Beauty didn't like any of his new masters or received nothing but cruel treatment, was not always well taken care of or was given jobs he wasn't used to doing. Mm. A. No, no. Yeah. No. 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 De definitely not A. No. Received nothing but real treatment. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Okay, uh, what are we told about Jerry Barker? Uh, he worked his animals too hard, or he rewarded the hordes of his animals, or he refused 
to keep greedy animals or he taught his animals new tricks. About Barker. Tak. Hmm. He refused to keep a greedy animal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, why did Nicholas Skinner? Uh, why did Nicholas Skinner not have Black Beauty killed? So he decided to sell he, uh, the horse to the vet instead. Or he believed the horse would get better and return to work for him. Or he thought someone might buy the horse. Or he felt the horse deserved a rest after doing so much hard work. He decided to sell the horse. Yeah. And the last one. In what way was living uh, on the two sisters' country uh, stayed better for uh, for ba uh, black beauty than living on a farm. So, like, the country state was a more relaxing place for an old horse, the farm was a suitable place for healthy animals only, the country state had more open spaces than the farm, or the farm had fewer horses than the country state. Mm. C. Yep. Yeah, like this. And by the way, I want to say, actually, there is another film that is not in this book, but it is already quite similar. It is called The Boy with the Gun. Yes, it is called так что вот потом можешь посмотреть, попробовать. Ну, он довольно тяжелый. Это, кстати, фильм Стивена Спилберга. Mm -hmm. Ну там. Окей. Okay. Go. Go. Так, ну а теперь напоследок можем сделать вот это вот задание Eleven. Just one second. Вот это тут было вроде. Не оно. Наверное, вот это. Yeah, this one. Okay. Сейчас я Вот оно. Let's do it. Exercise 11, page 37, a turning point. Jimmy worked in an office from eight o'clock till four. His job was satisfying, but he longed for something. Record for 
and offered him a deal. He was waiting for a sign, and he knew there'd come a time when a turning point would change his life and bring a chance for him to Okay, like this. So you so do you remember the missing words? Yeah. Okay. So Jimmy walked in the office from eight o'clock till four. Uh-huh. She uh, his job was satisfying, but he longed for something more. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, he was waiting for a sign and he knew there there'd come a time when a turning point would change his life and bring a chance for him to shine. Mm -hmm. Jimmy had an old guitar. Uh, mm -hmm. People loved to hear him play and he knew he could be famous. Uh-huh. If he could only find a way. Yeah, very good. When Jimmy played at the party, he is a dream. His dream life became real. No, там, там даже скорее как, а, а, ну хотя да, да. His dream life, yeah, became real. Uh, a record producer heard him. And offered him a deal. Yeah, right. Jimmy made a record. Uh, it went straight to. It went straight to number one. Uh huh. He'd love. Uh, he'd found the life he wanted. He'd found his place in the sun. Yeah, good, good. Вот вот на такой вот позитивной ноте я думаю можем уже закончить. So. Okay. 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 So. Uh, so, your homework. It's like students' book. Page. Uh, first is page thirty. Four maybe thirty four. No 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 even thirty three. Yeah. Wait. No. Doug. So it's three. Yes, it's thirty three. Right here, probably. No. No. Right. Okay. Exercise seven. Uh, write a story. Such a uh, process means that two stories. The mm -hmm. second one is 
like um, what's it done now? No, this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, page thirty-seven. It's thirty-seven. Yeah, right. Right, thirty-seven. Так, боже, какой вайбер. Так, thirty-seven. Size twelve. I'll write another story. Yeah. Yeah. If if it's too uh, much for you, uh, if if it's too many for you, uh, you can write only one uh, at your choice. Like this. Okay. So have a nice evening. You too. Thanks, and see you next Sunday. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.